and welcome back, and we will actually be doing the last bit of DLC content that was released, so we'll be walking down that lonesome road after I loot this place, get whatever I can, and then head to Brim to offload here, because I'm going to be carrying a lot of stuff out of there. Yay! Welcome, brother. Science entry, Mr. Normalize the samples of the cloud, and basically it's crap. And a congratulations for the Sierra Madre Management. Alright, well, nothing really else up here. I need to offload stuff. If you notice the uh, size might have changed, it's because I changed it to fit my screen, so no black bars at the top and bottom. If you guys think it's better with black bars at the top and bottom, then I can always change it back, so let me know. Wow, I just started running random stuff and everything, didn't I?
guy that made the other one that let us get shot in the head. Hopefully it's not a long road, full of deadly traps and things. <laughs> Stuff at this camp. Lad's tail. Campfire. Nope. No sunset sarsaparilla cap. Cars. Teddy bear. Fifty MG. Taking that stuff. Hey, if we run into any geckos, I could use some meat for cooking. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for geckos. The corners you should receive lead you to this canyon filled with storm tossed wreckage. Beyond this is the divide. Lonesome Road is intended for experienced careers, level 25 or higher. You cannot take companions with you in this road. Yeah, I will completely ignore that part. If your journey provides too difficult, you need to resupply. You can entrance the steps and return in the hobby at any time. If you are prepared, then continue. Yada yada yada. Basically, it says beyond this point is death. You can't bring people with you. Well, I was going to try to do Lonesome Road. But after, oh, what has been now, almost about oh, 25, 30 minutes of trying and failing to get through that door, I don't know what I should do. So I'm going to just skip this one because it keeps crashing my game until I can figure out how to fix it and then come back to it. So I think I will go and... Uh, pick up Veronica and head up to where the boomers are. So let's go to the uh, roadside outpost. Which is right there. Yeah, I know, kind of disappointing. But yeah, it's something else to look forward to when I actually do get around to getting it fixed. What's up? Come with me if you want to live. Let's go make trouble.
Really? The gates are all I have? Mmm, do I have time to bait these chicks? What the f- That right I used to hate ferals until one day I found one with a teddy bear. Now I feel sorry for them, although I still hate to get into a fight with them. Teddy bears will change the world. That looks too good <laughs> for the wasteland. It's a poor Brahmin. They were doing nothing but grazing. And then they butchered them. The bad of it. Killed my friend. Another boarded up house. Jeez. I wonder if I brought my car here, if that would have done anything crazy. Danger, keep out boomers, huh? Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Mm, you can tell me, or I can tell you the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? You want me to die, don't you, so you can reclaim my goods? <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory, and you're as good as mincemeat. I like mincemeat. Is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. Hmm. This might be fun. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Hmm, 
screw your caps. Nah, I got better things to do than spend. Thanks for the warning, but I'm leaving. Yeah, let's go. Suit yourself. Come back and see me when you get tired of picking shrapnel out of your backs. Wait, I can't take the bat with him? Welcome back. Have you reconsidered? What's the well, answer? I know the secret to get past. If you make it back alive, I Huh. Do I not have the caps? Oh, where'd all my money go? Oh yeah, I dumped that off, didn't I? I think. Where did my money go? I don't know why I'm asking you. Well, whatever. Somehow I fell into poverty, I don't know how. <laughs> Running along the train tracks, I think it is all good. Cause they're gonna shoot at me. Am I smoking? <laughs> Let's see. Let's do that. All happy, happy now. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Ran. Run, hide, run. <laughs> but I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. You couldn't hit me with artillery fire. You think you can hit me with that? Hey, come here to attack you. Can we move this along? I said stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. What's a Master at Arms? Who is Mother Pearl? All right, lead on. I think we'll be leaving. All right, lead on. Follow close and mind your behavior. Well, as you can see, uh, it crashed on me again, so I'm gonna try going through the uh, dirt cut the area here. Yeah, just go straight. To Whoa there, pal. Don't care what you have to say, but I do like the point, so I'm just gonna tell you. Screw you.
Big boom. Hold it right there. Don't you move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, run, I, run, I, I just ran, so it's not like it's that hard. Uh, I can move this along. I'll take this from here. Either way. And... It didn't Welcome, crash. child. Great. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Yoda, you are expecting you have been. You mean you're expecting like a prophecy or something? Prophecy? Do we look like a bunch of religious idiots? I don't know. I just hoped a savage, oh, outsider, sorry, would make it to our gates before one of those armies out there comes knocking. That's right, child. Mother Pearl knows a storm is gathering. Times are changing. Maybe time for us to change a little too. Might I be oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Maybe if you stop calling me savage. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe. But the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance. Patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in, just a little, or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Fun, fun. Where should I stop? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Hey. I knew I should have been an actress. Hello. That chip of yours? Unless the I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider, but I have patience to tend to. I'm not gonna make myself useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Yes, yes, I do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. I have all of one survivation. Others are victims. Do I have a... Do me a... What is my medical at? 
medical is. Hey! hey. So I don't have to worry. There was some fine Make doctor. Sure they I could learn a thing or two from you. And then nice. Your head. You cry, baby. Willow's just as badly hurt, and you're whining about it. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. I thought that man was done for, but you brought him around. Okay. Hello. I'm done. Yes, outsider. I finished treating your pain. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages when it comes to medicine, at least. Yeah, you're welcome. Stop See ya. Me savage. Right, we'll put a bullet I'm here. hungry. Workshop. Nellis Boomer. It's a historical thingy. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. You're a kid. What the hell's going on here? Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mural on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Yeah, sure. Excellent. Go ahead. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. All good, all good. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It Still was good. neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Damn, that's a pretty impressive kill count. Kill Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... <laughs> Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. You crazy little kid. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. I got some questions about your people's history. Uh, come here, look at everything. Looks up useful, blah, blah, blah. Ask away. Creepy little child. Why did your ancestors leave the safety vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Yeah, any detonation. <laughs> a little less than half a ton of TNT is born. <laughs> exactly. We haven't detonated any atomic warhead since before I was born. But besides that... It's a heck with nitpicky restrictions. Anything else you want to know? I surprised no empty when your people found Several it. automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly but radioactive. Not automatic. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Whereas your people had brought. <laughs> That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a salve, an outsider. Anything else you want to know? How do you survive till you cut off from the world? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. 
Let's cultivate the soil. Yeah. Indeed, we do. Very impressive. Anything else you want to know? <laughs> Where are Hollister's doing at the end in Air Force You're Base? Right. They weren't here when we <laughs> discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Oh, it's your battery. The money with the yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass oh, that on. Anything else you want to know? Uh, taught you to fly. Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Wasn't gonna ask. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? I'm just using you to get... XP Loyal so. found a file somewhere on the base. With magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. <laughs> you could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it up here for Yes! In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Ventriloquism. Bye. Bye. <laughs> They like me. They likes me. JT, how are you doing that? I mean, even your paws are in the floor. A bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? <laughs> okay. Knock, knock. Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Oh, yeah, I've already sold at least one thing and saved three people, so whatever. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Good to know. And the attic blown up. Ha! If we had spare parts, do you think I'd be asking you to fix the damn things? That's rich. No, we ran out of spares a while back, and Jack and I have been doing our best to patch the arrays up as best we can. Sadly, we're at our wit's end. There have to be spare parts somewhere around the wasteland, but I just don't know where to direct you. You may have noticed we don't get out much. Yeah, I've noticed that too. I'll be back, I've got work to do. Be sure to stop on back and let me know when the arrays are fixed.
stuff, but I don't have the gas. So much stuff there. I think I'm gonna have a little fun and try this out in the next episode. So I'm gonna call it a uh, all the end. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, all that other stuff, and I will continue to try to fix the problem with Monster Road. So take care.